Hi, Colette Pallon here, Affiliate Starting Line. This is part two of the WordPress uh, training series, and this one will go into deeper detail on what goes on in the dashboard. So let's log in. Now, if you recall from part one, um, we discussed the broad terms what the dashboard was. And on the left-hand side, we have a sidebar with all the functions, and on the right-hand side in the larger screen, are different sections that give us different types of information. The dashboard uh, right now section gives you a look at your whole website at a glance, uh, how many posts you have, pages, all this the numbers start populating when you build out your site. The quick press uh, allows you to put uh, a post in and add information right here from this dashboard right here without having to go in the back office. And then recent drafts, incoming links, plugins, information, WordPress news, comments, and development blog just give more information about what's going on with WordPress. So here we are. Uh, one thing we could do is uh, when we loaded in WordPress and my host, we got a version that was 2.9. And we see here that 3.0 is available. Uh, so let's take a look and put it in. And just for a, a pointer, if we visit the site right now, this is what our website looks like. It's got the generic WordPress blue template. We're going to update. It's going to ask us to upgrade automatically or download it. We skip the download. We'll do it automatic. It's going to start upgrading uh, the version. 3.0 is the latest version of WordPress. Um, in many cases, when you do go in now, if your web host is got the up-to-date uh, WordPress install, it'll probably default to that. But it's fairly recent, so it may take a little while for that to happen, in which case you're going to be loading in 2.9, and then you can upgrade the way we're doing it here. So it's uh, still doing its thing. You'll notice down here that we have a plugin that says well, number one next to it. That means there is an update for that plugin. We'll take a look and see what that is. A plugin, just for your information from the lesson one, uh, is a piece of software that adds functionality to the whole site. They, different plugins perform different functions. Okay, it came back and said that we upgraded successfully. So now we have, we'll go back to our dashboard. You'll see that that uh, notification has changed. It's not there. And uh, let's take a look and see. Now you'll notice that we have the name of the website, the website now up here as a link, whereas before it had a little visit website link. So that's different. And let's click on the link and see what happens. And there we go. We go back to the template. So there we are. That's how you update when you get updates. Um, and we see plug in here, the number is gone. So that means that the update for the version was exactly what the, what, um, was that they had in mind with that little one. So what do we have here? So when you first come into your site, you're going to see that uh, there's very little information. You're going to have one post and one page. The one post is the Hello World post. It's a generic post. You'll be getting rid of that. And the one page is the About page, uh, and you'll be changing the contents of that. If we click Edit, we'll see that there's this is an example that's just kind of generic con uh, content in this page, and that will be changed. They put content in there just to give a demonstration of what content looks like. And then there's one category that's called uncategorized. We're going to change that uh, just to show you how. You can click edit, and we could call it, uh, we're going to have a WordPress trainer as our main category. Those are our keywords, so we might as well put that in and change it right off the bat. So now we'll come back to the dashboard. And the next thing you want to do is come down to your settings. And what you'll do in settings is you'll come into the general setting. You'll name your, your, your website. And you'll want to make sure it's keyword rich. You'll give taglines to the website. Uh, and I'd like to capitalize that. Save it. You want to come down to uh, your privacy settings. You want to make sure that the privacy setting that makes your site 
visible to the world is set. Sometimes it'll be default on the lower button. Make sure you pick the higher button. Unless, of course, you want you don't want anybody to see your site until it's all ready, then you click the lower one. Just don't forget to come back. And I make sure that it's visible at all times. Um, and then permalinks. We'll talk about permalinks. This is, uh, this is how you display the URL for the content you're creating. We'll come back to that. Uh, it's important that you set a, a certain custom parameter here that will make sure that your, your content gets displayed up here in the display bar properly so that the search engine optimization takes place. So that's what we, we will, uh, that, that's enough for this video. So remember when you come in, check for updates, and then come down to your general settings, go to the general settings tab, set up the name properly. If you want to set your parameters for writing, if in your post line, set this to 20 or 30. Click Save. This will set the input box for uh, where, you, where you're putting in information. You want to check your privacy. And then we're going to set a permalink uh, parameter uh, in the next lesson. So that's it for this lesson here. I hope uh, this is a good way to start it. Just take it step by step, and we're going to go through these steps one by one in the succeeding lessons. That's it. Have a good one. Take care. Stay with it. Stay well. This is Claude Polan, Affiliate Starting Line. Talk to you soon.